Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the book The Tea Girl of Hummingbird Lane by Lisa C. And I have reviewed a lot of, not a lot I should say, but some of her books on my channel. And this one is, starts in, I think, 1989 and ends in 2016, I believe. And, um, it is about this girl, the main character is this girl named, um, Li Yang, and she is part of this Aka tribe in China, which is a, like, a minority that is living in China. She's living in, like, the mountains of China, and she her family does not have a lot of money and they're like in the middle of pretty much nowhere so they have their tribe and their traditions but they hadn't seen you know electric and electricity and they don't have a lot of the things they don't have things that the the regular not, not regular but the majority chinese have and but then um her i don't want to give too much away because there's a lot going on in this book but there is um this guy comes from hong kong and he wants to find this pure tea called poor and he finds it there and their wealth really increases and it's just about different Kind of her life is shaped through that one event um, by the her experience with that guy wanting to um, find this stuff called poor tea and her the different events that are kind of shaped with that um, big event um, I really enjoyed this book. It um, she is a really good storyteller, and I did not know much, and I still don't know much about the stuff going on in China, like the one-child policy. I didn't know too much about that, and and I did not know about. It talks a little bit before this takes place, like the stuff before this actual these actual events, and it talks about the um, time under Mao and I did not know much about that, and it's really interesting to see the changes that her tribe made, but also China in general made. I, did, I didn't know too, too much about that, even though I was, um, I was around when that started happening. I was, I just didn't know too much about that time period, because, you know, stuff changes so rapidly. Um, and, yeah, she's a good storyteller. Um, now, this was not one of my favorites by her. I'm not going to give anything away, but the some of the thing, some of the things that happened, you could kind of see from a mile away the stuff that was going to happen. You kind of sense, I know where this is going. Um, and the ending was a little rushed, I thought. Um, but overall, the, um, she didn't do too badly with this, with this book, I don't think. And if you're really into learning about China, I would recommend this book. This is another good one. And if you've read anything by Lisa C., um, let me know. Um, I, I really enjoy her work. I've read... I think three books by her now and one of them was China Dolls which I reviewed on this channel and so the plot does get complicated so I don't want to give too much away so if you like this kind of these kind of books this historical fiction book um, and you like different cultures I think you will really enjoy this book and 
I know I need to get more book reviews out and get that, you know, situated because I think the last book review besides this one was two weeks ago and I have not been doing a lot of scam baiting videos because a lot of them haven't been calling me and now that I said that tomorrow I might get some scam calls. Who knows? Um, so yeah, so if you're into this book, let me know if you've read it or if you listened to it. I actually listened to it on Audi Audible and it was really good on Audible. Um, so that's all I wanted to say and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye guys.